Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today I want to talk about Ilunia free to play farming guide. Why do we need to farm this dungeon? It is the only dungeon in the game where free to play and pay to win player have the same amount of resources because you cannot buy more dimension hole energy, no matter how much money you pay in this game. So if you want to be efficient, you want to spend crystal on this every single week because you have the same chance as true whale or how to play or the best SWC player in this one particular dungeon. An ancient rune is absolutely amazing. It has higher base and the grind you can use for it has higher value as well, especially the blue grind. A lot of my best rune are ancient rune, so I'm still trying to get higher defense value over here, but I don't have a grind yet, so I don't want to over enchant or enchant that stat away just yet. But some of my best rune are definitely ancient rune because it is much easier to get good stat on this kind of rune. This is the only content where pay to win players will not have any advantage over you. So you want to spend your crystal and energy and effort in farming this content. But you only start farming after you have done your crucial two-way unit. For example, you want to finish your Spectra, you want to finish your Ikaru farming team, all that stuff. And when you are done with all the crucial two-way, you want to start looking at this dungeon. So this will be my free-to-play team recommendation. I have three core unit and one flexible slot because you don't want to be using Orochi, right? That's for fucking peasants. If you have a strong Nat 5 like Savannah, you want to use her too. But the core unit will be right for healing. She's really good. She buff attack power all the time, which allow her to boost your team success rate as well as speed a lot. And Riley can be on speed HP HP, speed HP defense. She doesn't have to be on violent, doesn't need to be on will, but she can be on anything. Nemesis, energy, swift, whatever you have, you can use it on Riley because you use Riley in your guild content as well. So I think violent is a pretty safe bet. Next, we have the defense breaker. I'm going with Roy because he can provide very consistent defense break because he only has one skill and he will defense break all the time. Of course, they're gonna miss here and there, but he is one of the best option for this dungeon. Mine on Vile Destroy Speed HP HP because I use him for my Siege. He's a very strong unit into Theomas and Molong defenses and Destroy Rune is amazing over there but you don't have to. You can go Vile Focus, Vile Energy and Triple HP or Speed HP HP. I highly suggest you go for Speed HP HP because you want him to move in front of the other damage dealer that you are using because the defense break will allow you to do more damage. So I have damage reduction from water because the boss actually is a water to element boss and it ignored defense so some reduction would be nice and some random stuff over here that i don't really care too much about roy right now the artifact can be way better <laughs> can be better i don't use him too much but it can be way better the main damage dealer that can one shot the boss with defense break is going to be naomi i'm using attack with damage attack you can go speak with damage attack she's very amazing because you don't need to have high crit rate on her thanks to her passive she can crit all the time because you are going to have roy putting defense break on the boss all the time so you can focus on having high crit damage good attack stat and good overall stat you can have damage on water and crit damage in the skill and you're good to go the last flexible slot you can go with orochi speed crit damage and attack for orochi i have 86 crit rate so that he will crit all the time on water element and you have damage on water you have some crit damage and you are good to go orochi is amazing dot damage ignore defense and let's jump right into it so we're gonna go for a quick run and then i'm gonna demonstrate what the team can do so we have defense break we have attack buff and now we can kill these mobs very very easily if you don't have orochi there are many other flexible wind damage to option you can put in. Orochi provides speed lead, which is great, but you can also use the wind barbaric king who can provide you with the speed buff and also attack buff in case Riley derp and not use attack buff. But Riley has attack buff up all the time. She's actually insane. And here with defense break and with attack buff from Riley, watch, it's going to be... <laughs> it is so, so quick and because... The team rely mainly on the passive of Roy and the passive of the Naomi. The damage and the defense break can be very, very consistent. And with immunity from Riley, we are not taking any debuff from the boss, but because we are win unit, we don't take debuff that easily anyway. In case you can't kill him, the immunity will protect you from Belial. So defense break here, we're going to have attack break as well which is really good because the boss might kill you look at that attack break from roy is absolutely amazing 
and that's it. It is very simple because these units are meant to do that. They, they defense break, they, they do a lot of damage. So let's talk about all the other flexible units. You don't have Roid for some reason. You don't have Roid, okay? <laughs> How do you not have Roid? Unbelievable. In the past, I was still using Orochi and Riley, but I would be using Savannah. Savannah is even greater, a safer option. If you have Savannah, you don't have good runes, Savannah will make up for the bad runes that you have. I'm not trying to roast you, okay? Just trying to be realistic. A lot of you guys will not have maxed out rune, so the Nat 5 will kind of cover your ass when you don't have good runes. Savannah will be speed good damage attack as well, similar rune to how you build on Orochi, so big damage, she provides speed buff, attack by push back and also big damage that scale with debuff so it goes really well with orochi if you don't have naomi you don't have roy you can replace it with savannah and you can replace it with wind panda wind panda is another very amazing option for this dungeon for defense break because once again he also will be using one skill most of the time and when the boss hit you you can revenge when you buff this and he defense break even better than roy because it is a multi-hit very high chance for defense break and now he awakens into accuracy, allowing him to defense break even better. So I'll build similar to Roy, but instead of speed, HP, HP, I'll go for maybe triple defense, or if you want to speed tune better, you can go for speed defense, defense, and make sure to have additional damage and maybe damage on water. My build is for PvP, but you can have damage on water here, and then you have skill one accuracy here, and you are good to go. So these two are very, very good, but they are not the only option. So if you don't have Orochi, but you still want a strong damage dealer to use use and can provide debuff at the same time you can try using the four star rakshasa so she is really good as well yin is amazing she also provides an attack leader skill and i think she can be bought from guild shop i think she's also a free to play friendly character she provides damage she can proc like crazy and she deal an amazing amount of damage and she can be built very similar to orochi or savannah as well as you can see right here vial blade speed good damage attack and you are good to go if you don't want to use Use Riley, you want to be edgy and do even more damage, you can try using Hashvel. He's amazing too. But I think Riley is way safer. And for this kind of content, you want to have 100% win rate because the resource for this content is limited. So you don't need to clear it super fast, but you need to have 100% win rate to make sure that you don't waste any drop of energy in this content. There are many other strong 5-star damage that you can use as well. If you want to be safer, Chengpeng is actually not a bad option. Very strong lead the skill for wind damage dealer and the pushback and the defense break skill one can push back as well you don't have to build chengpeng like a vile despair support build outside of rta you can definitely use him as a strong damage dealer and you can build chengpeng like how i build my orochi or savannah and odin is a very good option as well because odin can steal the buff sometimes the run can get a bit messy when you reach the first stage of the boss like for example we are getting there we might miss the opportunity to kill the boss because roy missed the defense break it happens it will happen because of the base resistance right roy will miss the defense break and you will miss the opportunity to kill the boss and then what will happen is that the shannon is going to buff defense which will make it very inconvenient oh my god the boss died a little bit too fast <laughs> He died a little bit too fast. But sometimes I notice if I miss defense break back to back, then it will not be straightforward like that. The boss will have buff. The run will be way, way slower. But if you have a stripper like Odin or Chengpeng, then the run can be a bit smoother. If you want another win speed lead that is free to play, that can also provide a backup defense break, that can also do very, very good damage, you can try out Ramahan. He is a very good option to replace Orochi with because he can also do insane damage and he can strip and he actually has good AI for this one. The Monkey King can also be a very good option for backup defense break and also good damage. Any of the win damage dealer that is a nat 5, they're good. Ethna is good, Charlotte is good, Lagmaron is good. They can also all be used as long as you fulfill the attack buff role, big damage with Naomi and the defense break with something like a Fangin or a Roy. You can pretty much put in any win damage dealer that you want. It is totally okay because the dungeon is very, very flexible. Actually, I want to give the Ramahan a try. So now let me replace Orochi with something even more free to play, which is going to be the 2A Ramahan. Now let's take a look at the run. So we have one extra defense breaker and I make sure that he move in front front of Naomi so that I will have two defense breaker to move in front of Naomi and that will allow me to have very consistent damage output and Ramhan skill 3 
can do some insane damage. Also, if you don't want to use Riley for some reason, you can also replace Riley with Shannon. But I would recommend Riley because there are some debuff from the boss and the boss minions. So having a immunity unit and a cleanser in one single unit, I think is amazing. And it's not like Riley is some luxurious choice. Riley is actually free to play because you can fuse the unit. So I think replacing with Shannon is okay if you want more damage for Ramahan, but I don't think there's any need for that. Ramahan can still do good damage despite not having any defense buff. So we have good damage, but no attack buff here is the moment where Ramahan will provide the value, right? Can he strip? He's gonna seize and any he violent for all, oh, but he missed the chance to defense break. So I think Orochi is better because Orochi does more damage than Ramahan because Orochi is an attack type monster and he has dots, so he definitely does more damage than Ramahan. But Ramahan provides the value where he can strip the defense buff from the boss and also, hey, the defense break missed from Broid, but Ramahan came in clutch with the defense break right there. I can't believe. <laughs> it worked out exactly like how I thought it would be. So with attack break from Roid, the boss will not do as much damage. As you can see, the immunity from Riley came in clutch because the Abelio could have gone with the AoE skill. If you don't have immunity, it's going to be very, very troublesome. So we have all the defense break we need here. And I think we should be good to go. The boss is going to attack us in one time. And it, with attack break, there's no way anyone would die if you have more than 10k HP. And that's pretty much it. That's my little guy for Elunia. There are many options to use. And this will be the core team. It is amazing. And I'm just going to stop here because I don't want to use Ramahan anymore. Ramahan is a good, okay option. But I'll go with Orochi or I'll go with Yin as my top two recommendation. This girl right here, she's very similar to Orochi. And she can be even more explosive in terms of damage output. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day.